Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Welcome back to the Sugar Cane Mushroom. Sugar Cane Shroom. I don't know what to call it. Anyway, so let me get some more of this uh, Sugar Cane because I decided to pull out another three villagers and go through the paper pretty quickly developing their librarian trades. But let's do this. Let me get some more of this good stuff. Not fully grown, but that's okay. This will give us a couple stacks of sugar cane. And that'll give us a couple stacks of paper. Make sure I pick it all up. And don't leave any behind, because that would be wasteful. We don't want to be wasteful. Almost three more stacks of sugar cane. Not bad. I don't remember where my exit is. Here it is. So I've got some more sugar cane down here. Not quite three stacks worth. All right. Um, so, couple things. Yeah, I'm back over here. Hi. So, here's the deal. Whoa, what was that? So I pulled out three more villagers. And this guy has a bane of arthropods. Okay, five, not too bad. Uh, this guy has an infinity book. And Curse of Vanishing. There was a guy here. And he was the first one I pulled out. And he only had Curse of Vanishing. This guy has that, so I didn't need him. But I didn't want to just punch him to death in the carol there uh so i had a, i had the idea it's like well let's bring him over here turn him into a zombie then he's no longer a, vi a villager right and i think if i turn on hitboxes here i can go and smack that out oh um, i didn't really intend to do that that was fascinating Uh, but I think now I can kill him because he's he's a villager, a, a zombie villager. He's not a villager. What oh, I got a zombie librarian head. Okay, so I think that should not let these guys get upset at me. Let's go see. Let's go see if this has screwed up all my trades. Oh, I can't tell from you. Anyway. Nope, everything's still good. Excellent. So that's the way to do it. Let's get another librarian out here. Let's get another villager out here, and then we'll turn him into a librarian. Oh, and I brought I brought up my toolbox because I was gonna burn him to death. That was just not necessary, and that would have been cruel and unusual. Hi. There, oh, there's babies. There. Hear that. Okay, let's see what we can do with this guy. Hello, welcome to your new home. I have a lecture in here for you. Okay, oops. So now we start the tedious process of figuring out if we can get any good trades out of this guy. Fortune 2, no thank you. Now I noticed something interesting. This guy over here with the Bane of Arthropods. Or no, the Bane of Arthropods. This one here. When I pulled him out, I had found that he had a different... Uh, 
hours, but a different book. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. And and I then it got dark, and the phantoms came out. And so I went to go sleep. But when I came out, I had a different trade. Um, the trade changed overnight. At least I think it did. I wasn't recording, so I can't go back and check the footage. Um, so that's unfortunate. But. Loyalty to. I have a loyalty guy, right? And loyalty 3 is the top guy. Yeah, loyalty 3. So it doesn't matter. Loyalty 2 is not helpful to us at all. Okay. <gasps> There's my mending guy, right? Because I don't have another mending. I need a mending. I've got unbreaking 3 here. Excellent. That's what we needed. I don't have a ton of paper. Um, but, oh, I've got dirt in my pocket because I had some in a chest over there and there's a water and trader came by and he was offering rooted dirt. So I got some of that. Um, I don't know why I have gravel in my pocket. Um, let's grab some of these. These guys get expensive to trade up. But, Mending. Oh, well, let's I trade with him a bookshelf. And that will lock him in at least. And then I can do. I, mean, I, got, I have some books here. Books are cheap for the other guys. Look at this. And. Let's just get some emeralds. I don't need that many, but. Get a few many books. Or get more than one in any event. This mending is helpful. And. I have all kinds of books. I have all kinds of emeralds. And as long as he'll keep trading with me. Oh, I didn't have enough. Oh, it's, it's 34. Oh, gosh. It's expensive. Okay. Oh, he should unlock, right? Yeah. Four, two. Oh, that's pretty cheap. Um, I mean, book, books out of him. That'll unlock the next level. Fire protection too, that's not super useful. Um, okay, so, or two. That might, I think that's the highest level of lure. Let me double check that. Um, okay. A lot of, lot of mending books now. May never need another mending book again, but that's okay. We're, we're not going to, uh, worry about that so much and then and you I don't need a minecart at the moment so if lore 2 is indeed the highest level of lore then that will be a keeper too no, there's a lure three. Okay, so that doesn't help. Okay, but you'll be my menu, dude. And you don't take paper. Um, but I can trade some of these. Oh, let's uh. I need to unlock more. Oh, just give me books back. Okay. 
Okay, these are less than desirable books. But whatever. Can I get books back from you? No. Oh, did you do you hoover up my books? I guess you did. Um Oh, well. Two bookcases. I have more bookcases over here. Not that many, but I can buy more. Do you have bookcases you can sell me? Thank you. Do you have bookcases you can sell me? Thank you. Okay. Let me go sleep real quick. We don't need more phantoms. Bookshelves. Let's break some bookshelves. Let's put these rails away. So we're going to keep this guy and then we'll roll all three of them over and do the little zombification Kiri Kiri sort of thing. Um, and that will oops, improve things tremendously. Okay, so that gives me some books. That get you up to expert? Yes. I'm breaking two. Not awesome. I already have an unbreaking guy. So let me these I can get out of him. That get you up to master? It does. Okay, you're all unlocked. And it's really mending. It's the only thing. Could be worse. It wasn't crazy expensive, but mending book is a very useful thing. So there we go. Okay. So now, we can uh, cart them over there, do the whole zombification and curing thing. And that's all fine and dandy. Let me drop some stuff off out of my pockets here. And let's go back over to my underground area over on the other side of the island. So here we are in the underground area over on the other side of the Mushroom Island. Now the terrarium and the tree farm, which I think I showed this. Uh, so oof, with four giant spruce trees like this, wood is not a problem. I've been using it up because I've been building a ton of chests for storage over here. So I got rid of all the storage that I had there. All the, most of the storage that I had here. I still have some building stuff for over here. And then some of this is stuff that I used to build. It. Plus I've got some ores and stuff. Um, oh, I need some of that gold. So I need to start growing some, some birch trees. What I want to do is figure out how tall these spruce trees can grow and then put another layer uh, of, you know, floor, just fill in the floor and dirt above that. And so it may be that this is 
uh, this would be it. So if that's as tall as they, they grow, I have to do some research that I fill this floor, put in some dirt, and then go back, grab a bunch of birch saplings, and just plant a bunch of birch here. And then they grow. The nice thing about the birch is they don't grow that tall. And then I could put another layer in here with some oak, um, dark oak maybe. The dark oaks don't grow that tall either. And I might even then be able to put in another, but I could also dig out an adjacent chunk and put like jungle, acacia, basically in a couple chunks, I could have all the different types of trees that I could need. That would be handy. Now, the thing, the only thing that's prevented me from doing this so far is I don't have the dirt. And that's why finding dirt in the chest over there was so useful. Now, I've got these chests here. These are actually starting to fill up. So I've got a couple deep slate and then I have silk touched deep slate. I don't want to call it smooth deep slate. And then over here I've got cobblestone and down here I've got stone stone and then I need signs for all this but I need more birch wood for doing the signs I have andesite, diorite granite um, this here is tough and then down here I have gravel so I have some gravel here now dirt um, I don't know. Have I started putting stuff in here? I don't think I have. So. No, because I need more chests. And I have some dirt up here. And this rooted dirt can be converted into dirt. But I need about four stacks of dirt to fill in another chunk of dirt up there. And this, I think, is all the dirt I have in the world, which is not great. So, uh, I started digging out additional chunks here. Um, so, I, I dug out this one, and I left the roof on here, and I will leave the roof on here. Then I have to decide, do I want to put more storage up here, or do I want to dig out the next chunk out and just extend the storage this is kind of what I'm leaning towards doing um, it will be an obnoxious amount of deep storage and once I have a good supply of shulker boxes or shulker shells that becomes a little less necessary because each one of those chests will condense into two shulker boxes that I can just put into a stack of chests So, anyway, this is this has been a somewhat tedious amount of work. I want to dig out this chunk here and this chunk here and expand this and possibly, uh, I definitely want to get some red or crimson wart and expand that so I have both types. And then... Next one, I'm not sure what else. I put some mycelium down and make some giant mushrooms. I don't know. And that could stack too, right? These can grow up a couple sub chunks here, but um, there's I got plenty of room, so I could stack these and have just piles and piles of the warped fungus. Uh, I also want to start building some automated farms. So I want to put in pumpkins and watermelons Sugarcane, um, carrots, potatoes, wheat, basically all your standard farms, and I can stack them. Then I can just kind of get super efficient. And then I can build other, other stuff here. Um, as I'm digging around, I think I can go another chunk that direction before I run into trouble. And I think I can go couple chunks this direction before I run out of uh, mushroom fields. And then I think I can keep going that way for a while. 
So I can just expand this, but I want to widen it out before I have to move this beacon. So. Or just build another beacon, but that will require going into the nether, getting more wither skulls, and fighting the wither and all that good stuff. So anyway, that's just a really quick update on where we are here. Or summary of where we are. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to organize the last this with the footage of the last couple times I was streaming that I recorded because uh, probably not going to make like three or four episodes out of it, but I could do um, try and edit something together so that it kind of shows some progress but without getting tedious. So we will see. Um, but I'm streaming I won't be streaming a whole lot this week. This week's going to be busy for me. Um, oops. Oh, I should have put those away before I came over here. It's okay. Um, so I won't have a ton of time this week, but... Um, if I can steal an hour or two here or there, I will do so, and just make a little make a little progress on what I'm doing here. So, anyway, that's it. I hope you're doing okay and um, having a good day. And I will see you in the next episode. Thank you. Bye.